Right, Stella's showing the insulation guy in. That's our new insulation for the basement, right there. Look at all that. I think we have three of those pallets. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Is our fire block as well as our um, what do you call that? Insulation, sound deadening material. And there's more insulation. Stella, you watching all the insulation coming in? And our last load of insulation. We're going to fill up the whole garage, aren't we, Stella? What a good puppy. That's pretty cool. Good puppy. That's it. Last load. Okay, as you saw a little earlier, I think we are getting some insulation and it's time for a basement update video. Do to do. A couple of big things have happened recently. Uh, one is all the lights are in. You can see there's lights all throughout the basement. And I passed the electrical inspection. It took me two tries. Failed the first time. Second time, I got it. And it was a bit difficult. I didn't know about wire, what is it called, wire chases? Wire run holders, I'm not sure. But I know all about them now. I know all about uh, three-way light switches and how to wire them up. Um, that was a, I was a little rusty on that. And what type of wiring goes in a kitchen versus a hallway or normal lighting circuits. And then I had an issue with the refrigerator circuit it needs to be on its own. A 20 amp circuit. Uh, Stella is bored, you can see. But, <clears throat> so there's two major things that happened this past week. One is I passed the electrical inspection and I'm so happy. The other is... I got my knee operated on, so I'm hobbling around, and I'm home, I'm not at the shop, as you can tell, and I'm uh, just kind of tinkering about for a day or two until it heals. But I wanted to produce this video and just let you guys know things are happening, and Stella is going to actually show us what's going on next. So if you look at the concrete here below grade level or the foundation level, these are just temporary. They're holding these straps, uh, these uh, what are called horizontal straps, all the way around. They're hard, kind of hard to see. But we need something to nail sheetrock to besides concrete. You can't nail sheetrock to concrete. It will rot because it absorbs moisture. So we need a moisture barrier that is some type of a treated wood, which I think this is. Some type of treated wood. I forget what it's called. It's not PT, but it's something like green wood. So we're gluing that so we have a place to attach our sheetrock and attach our baseboards to when we finish out the basement. So that's going in currently. That's kind of a lot of work. Um, the HVAC system, I don't know if I showed this last time, is now in. So there's a, a mini split that heats this whole area. Uh, this whole main area and then in the bathroom and in the bedroom there is heated floors um, so we have windows ready to go in uh, in those spaces there and there once the sheetrock is in the wiring is all done i've got a few things to, to tidy up <clears throat> i've got the hot water recirculation pump in so that every tap in the house has instant hot water that works fantastic that's the best thing I've ever done. That's really cool. And then I'm starting to insulate pipes because with the hot water recirculation, every tap has instant hot water, which means that all these hoses are warm and they need insulation on them like this to keep the warm in the pipe and not just um, losing its heat in the wall. So uh, we are busily attaching those furring strips to the concrete so we can have something to attach 
the sheetrock too, as I explained earlier, a lot of finishing touches. We're putting in extra framing for a towel bar here. Lots of neat things that are coming online that's really going to make this space nice. It's now warmer outside so we can have the windows open. You can see the driveway out there. It's great. I got the, the fuse panels where I want them. Well, I should say I've got them. I was worried I didn't have enough circuit capacity, but I do. And we're having some special metal made that extends the boxes out a little bit so that they will be flush with this wall and make that look a lot better. So that's happening. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I'm just, again, I'm going to repeat that all my lighting projects I have these little soffit lights that are really, really cool. Came out great. All the heating ducts are in. The plumbing's all done. Stella's happy. The wife's happy. The kids are happy. I'm happy that I passed my electrical inspection because that was a doozy. It took me about a month to get everything wired in and proper. And it's so crazy how the code changes. Like when I applied for the permit, there was um, a change in the code the day after I applied for the permit that the 20 amp outlets had to be tamper proof. I didn't know that. I had to talk to somebody and they alerted me of it. It's crazy. So that's what's going on in the basement. You saw the insulation. That's next. That fireproof insulation gets then stuffed in all these cavities all the wall spaces, even up into these empty joist bays, it has to be completely fireproof so fire can't rush behind the wall and, and um, to where a fireman can't put it out. So that all has to be inspected. We have four more inspections before the basement is completely done, but we're getting there. We're really getting close. So I hope you enjoyed this little side project of mine. We are not at the shop. We're at the home basement. We're letting my knee heal. We're letting the dog have a little reprieve from chasing squirrels and just enjoying life. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.